Alright, that's as good as it's gonna get. Ready to go? Stand actually opens in nine minutes, but I don't know where it is. Can I try? Sure. <laughs> you sound so scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. You're so bad at this. You just went back having three, weren't you? Okay, come on. Let's go. Are you driving all the way there? Meadow to right. Screw it. We'll gamble. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. It's Bear, Princess and the Bear. Um, we are here. I'm here. Both here. At the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds yes. at Disney World. Surprise, we're at Disney World. Um, so we went and we got a cabin, which we're enjoying. There'll be another video about that. We'll link that somewhere around here once we make that video. That video will probably go up first, but um, we went to PJ's. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> trying to find out what the name is. P and J's Southern Takeout. So P and J's Southern Takeout. Even though it's a little bit rainy, um, somebody saw fit, well, we saw fit, but uh, we got a golf cart and we're driving on around. And so we took that, went and got food. Her usual vegan delights and my nasty carnivore dinner. And um, we're going to tell you what it's like here. So they have a special wilderness garden burger that they only serve here at fort wilderness so i got the wilderness garden burger oh my god that's terrible it's just a regular disney fries no it's like rubber that you made like hours ago we're doing 15 minutes for this we'll see mm -hmm. you got i got the pulled pork with coleslaw on the top um if I were to take like a tip from like Dame Drops, you don't mess up because like that's barely any coleslaw on top of this huge hunk of pulled pork. Garden burger. There's literally no sauce on it at all. It's just a dry burger. It's probably a Beyond Meat. Probably. But no sauce. So this is a garden burger they only serve here, but it's a regular patty lettuce and tomato that is some bs luckily they do have a little bar with the usual ketchup relish or anything else we got some condiments but uh i'm gonna say i was expecting a bit more wow this is messy beyond meat patty is whatever you can get it anywhere the pulled pork's good like I thought, you can't even taste the coleslaw because there's so little in here. It's basically swallowed by the pulled pork. Um, as the princess brings us in here, it's like all pulled pork and like sprinkled with coleslaw. So you can't even taste the coleslaw. The fries, even though we waited for these for 15 minutes, they're like bone cold and rubbery, like they were reheated. It's not where I typically expect from Disney. Like you can see it, like when you bend it, that doesn't even look like real food. So like it's like it looks like rubber. It's not fresh. It's not steamy. Like these fries are probably the worst fries I've ever had at Disney. I'm 
in the words of my friend Highway Star, I'm disappointed. Mmm. Yeah. I mean, they're regular Disney fries, but they're very rubbery, rubbery, very old. And it's kind of a disappointment because I've eaten at PB&J's before, and it's not this bad. It's they, really not. They taste reheated. Like they just warmed them up in the uh, yeah. microwave, and they got cold again. They're, like, mostly cold at this point now. So that, that's pretty awful. At least the pulled pork is, is good, though. It's a disappointment that the coleslaw is so... Like, not there, but the pulled pork does at least take good. They actually slow cooked it. The bun isn't soggy. It's a little bit toasted. I mean, I can deal, but I've had better food at Disney. Well, that's it for Princess and the Bear for PB&J's Southern Takeout. Not right. very Southern. And not very good Disney Takeout, but we thought we'd try it out. Yeah. Let you know how it is. And we'll see you in the next one. Yep. Let us know where you want us to eat at next in the comments below. We're willing to go to any Disney World location.